Yo, what it do guys and welcome back to another video. Just the other week Titania Prime was released as Warframe's most recent Prime Access feature. Not only this, but she has been receiving some tweaks and buffs within her kit that has really helped her gameplay, especially in fluidity. So in today's video, we'll be quickly looking over her abilities and I'll be giving you a look into an extremely strong and fun Razor Wing build for your Pixie Queen. Let's jump straight into her ability kit. Titania has been given a new passive, as for her old one is still kept in attack, this new one serves more ideal combat wise. Titania regenerates health for herself and nearby allies whenever she uses an ability. With the shield gate meta being upon us, this works really well with her first ability to cover up and protect the one element that bypasses those shields, Toxin. I really like this change. Titania's first ability is Spellbind. When casted on an enemy, they will fumble their weapons and become suspended in the air. This is good for crowd control. Your nearby allies will become immune to status effects. However, if you hold the ability, you will cast immunity onto Titania. So you can see how this can cover and protect her health from the toxin procs. As for the toxin damage, again, we refer back to the passive. It's very useful to, spell, to spam Spellbind for protection values and just always keep in mind of her passive values as well. Her second ability is Tribute, and not the Tenacious type. Cycle through her weapons by tapping to select a debuff for an enemy, then hold the ability to cast that type onto an enemy. You will then be able to pick up one of four different buffs for Titania. Fawns, reduce enemy damage by 50% and reflect 50% of damage back to the attacker. Dust, reduces enemy's accuracy by 50%. Full Moon increases damage by your Razor Flies by 75%, as well as their health and armor being buffed by 50%. Entangle slows down enemy movement within an aura range around her by 25%. Titania's third ability is Lantern, turning the enemy into a lighthouse as they beacon and charm other enemies towards them before exploding whenever you hold the ability or the duration runs out. Now she can have up to four lanterns active at one time and any enemy that is suspended as a lantern will deal a radius of heat damage per second around them. This ability is good for choke points and clearing out packs of enemies. So finally, Titania's fourth ability, Razor Wing. Titania will shrink down into a pixie form allowing you to fly and control her like you would an Arcwing. This includes Arcwing blinking as well. She also summons two exalted weapons, her secondary Dex Pixia dual machine pistols and her melee Dewata heavy swords. Whilst being in pixie form, Titania gains a passive of 50% evasion against enemy incoming attacks. Titania also summons six Razorfly drones that will seek out and attack nearby enemies. Not only do they attack, but for every tribute buff you have active, you gain an additional four Razorflies. So they will also seek out four tribute buffs for you to activate rather than you having to go get the tribute buff. They will do this all for you. To get into Razorwing Pixie form faster, make sure you are airborne first. This reduces the animation speed. With the kit explained but not broken down in depth, we'll now look into a build for Titania based around her augment named Razor Wing Blitz. This, so this means we'll be using her pixie form as our main focus. Looking at the augment, flight speed is increased by 25% and fire rate is increased by 25%. However, you can stack these buffs up to four times whenever you cast an ability. Not only can they stack, but they're also affected by strength mods and the duration of the augment buff is also affected by duration mods too. This makes this augment very powerful. So to begin, let's look at the builds. Focus on strength to get bigger buffs and more damage output for her exalted weapons. Pour attention into duration for longer lasting buffs and to also help her drain per second for her Razor Wing ability. From here onwards, if you need more efficiency, go for it. I prefer to use Prime Flow as I combine this with Energy Pads or the Xenuric Focus School. The Aura mods can always change, but I'm mostly focused on her exalted uh, weapons, Pick Dex, Pick Dex, oh, I can't talk, uh, Dex Pixia. <laughs> so, uh, Pistol Amp can uh, help for overall damage here. Aviator is a unique mod as it reduces all incoming damage by 40% whilst airborne so this combos really well with all of her passives and buffs to give her very good survivability. 
However, for the remaining survivability, I'm using Redirection to help with the Shield Gating meta. Remember her passive and spellbinds, and we'll look after that sneaky toxin bypasses. For Arcanes, I'm using Arcane Precision to increase Dex Pixia damage and Arcane Velocity to increase Dex Pixia fire rate. For the Dex Pixia build, I prefer going for flat damage with elementals. Uh, as viral and heat elements have changed recently, it's better to sit on these combined. The more status chance on the builds, the better DPS output. Reload speed can be dropped to 0.1 second regen with a prime quick draw mod, so this will always help you regen and pump out more shots. I like to use Ice Storm and Prime Slip Magazine. This is because I can go in autopilot mode, meaning I can shoot and clear ways of en enemies with a much bigger magazine capacity without having to adjust as often and wait for ammo regen. Trust me, the damage you do is already enough. So to have this utility um, is always nice, but you can always swap this out if you do want more DPS or even if you want to throw criticals in there to help uh, procs for arcing velocity. I don't really tend to use fire rate on this build because I already do plenty with my augment and the strength that I have on it. However, if you are running lower strength on the augment and on your build, then definitely put fire rate in here um, as that can help out gunslinger or anemic agility. As for the playstyle, uh, in steps, this is roughly how I play and how to use the builds. Get a good bit of energy to start off with. Now jump and enter your razor wing pixie fawn. Remember the jump will, will half that animation speeds. Now hold your Spellbind ability, but do this four times. You are also protected from status effects, so keep an eye on the duration as you want to try and keep recasting these every so often. Your fire rate and movement speed has, has gone up drastically, or it should have depending on how much strength you put onto the build. Now aim for some heads to proc those arcanes. From here onwards, you are a machine. If you need any more protection, I prefer to go for fawns and dust buffs from Tribute, but it's really situational. Although she has a new augment called Ironclad Flight, I don't really recommend you guys to put this in the builds. You want vacuum, otherwise you'll have to manually pick up your energy orbs and loot. Overall, she's an absolute monster of a damage frame. Titania's recent tweaks within her kit have made her become far more enjoyable than ever. Obviously this goes without saying, there's a lot in this video that can be adjusted and will m more, more than likely change over time, but for now, this is my Titania Razorwing Blitz build. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and perhaps learned a thing or two about the Pixie Queen. Regardless, I enjoyed making this video, and I hope it helps those who are picking up Titania Prime lately and are looking for a build to play. If you did enjoy the video, please rate. Any feedback or comments is always appreciated, and if you are new to the channel, subscribe and come join us more often. And finally guys, if you do ever need some help live, you can always swing by my stream over at twitch.tv forward slash no sympathy, but until the next video, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.